Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening to everybody around the world who's tuning in to another Pokemon Unite video. Featuring Wigglytuff here in the bot lane with Bulbasaur and a Master Rank game. Hopefully you guys are having fun still and ready for this new update. Happy Halloween to all you guys around the world. It's coming up here fast. Faster than, you know, I thought. Like, what is it, 21st, 20th right now? We got a couple more days before it's time to go trick-or-treating, right? For all the little ones out there. But... For us who don't go trick-or-treating, it's time to dress up in scary costumes or decorate your house or what have you. And for those that don't care, who are just here to play Pokemon Unite, we're getting a giant new update. Gengar's getting the buff. I see you guys down there in the comment section talking about where's Gengar, do you know about Gengar? Oh boy, I know about Gengar. How could I not know about Gengar, guys? I'm excited. We're all excited. He's going to be... Uh, eh, in a lot of people's minds, he was low tier in a lot of people's minds, right? But a good Gengar player is far in between. You'll see him every once in a once in a blue moon inside of a game. Generally, like nine out of ten, when you mention when you play against a Gengar, he's bad, right? Let's be fair. But there are some of us who are pretty phenomenal with Gengar, you know. And those people who are phenomenal with Gengar are just gonna get better, or more scary, or spooky, whatever you want to call it, because we're getting a buff, right? A Gengar buff. What it does is. Essentially, your special attack damage now heals you. So it gives you sustain. And I'm talking about Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Hex, Dream Eater, your boosted auto attack. These abilities will heal Gengar after level 5. So think about it. That first little jungle clear wave before he even comes to bees, generally he's level 5. And what happens? All of that sustain come down, coming down to your lane to trade with you for bees. Good luck with that one. I'm super stoked. You're super stoked. And then, on top of this, we get a buff for Garchomp. A long-needed buff for Garchomp. His attack speed is getting increased. I assume by a large amount, because he actually needs it to stay relevant. Because he doesn't deal damage unless his passive is up. And then he's getting damage on Dragon Rush, which is kind of nice. Venusaur's getting nerfed. Because he actually needed it, let's be honest. He needed it in Master and Ultra Rank games where it mattered, right? Again, this is where you rotate, you fight in team objectives. Which is a nerf to his Giga Drain. Now, you're questioning why Giga Drain not Pedal Dance, right? Because a lot of people don't realize where the damage is actually coming from. So what Pedal Dance does, essentially, every tick of damage that Pedal Dance deals to a surrounding enemy Pokemon lowers the cooldown of your Giga Drain. The Giga Drain is what he spams to keep himself alive inside the team fights, which makes him a bit more bulky. Giga Drain's getting nerfed, while Solar Beam's getting buffed. So, we're gonna see a decline in Venusaur players, I think, who play in Petal Dance. So we might have a better time in Pokemon Unite, instead of seeing Venusaur every single game, you know what I mean? On top of that, your boy Blastoise is getting the hammer too, because you shouldn't be playing against a tank or playing a tank, that does more damage to your DPS. His Unite move shouldn't be generally like an Execute and pretty much just half health or kill you. That shouldn't be a thing. So he's finally getting looked at. So be up, be up for that one. And then on top of everything else, guys, we're getting new skins, we're getting a new map. There's a lot of stuff coming on here. And then your boy Wigglytuff here, she still gets to be oppressive because she also gets a skin. So, what that means is, generally what happens when someone gets a new new outfit, a new skin, in any MOBA, any game, what have you, they're like, oh, like me, I like shiny things. So, what that means is, if something's ugly or, you know, doesn't look cool, I don't care how good it is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with it, I'm not gonna play it. So, some people don't like certain Pokemon, this is why, the way they look, or their evolution types, or whatever. Really tough gets a sleepy cap. Like, it's a hat. You know, you know one of those things you put on, what have you. It looks like, looks like a wizard cap. You know what I mean? And I'm so here for it. I can't wait. But in that mindset again, man, this game has been nuts. Just because how oppressive Wigglytuff still is in this metagame, people don't realize it. Some people understand how strong Wigglytuff is. Some don't. But she's just one of those Pokemon. I eat. Hats off to this Lucario up here for doing fantastic. Follow me through all that, going in when I go in, engaging when I'm going to engage, disengaging. Hats off to him, Lord Coffee Cup. If you haven't watched this video, good job, buddy. Now, we get Wigglytuff here. She does have Sing, right? So, the way this ability works is... 
You get little musical notes above the Pokemon's head, right? When they're fully charged up, enemy Pokemon or wild Pokemon or what have you, they go to sleep. And it's not like Gengar's Dream Eater where they sleep for, you know, a little millisecond. It's not like Yawn for Snorlax. This ability can hit multiple targets at the same time. And then they just all go to sleep. And you just beat them down. Now, also... Man, like I said, that Blastoise Unite move is just crazy damage, I swear. Also, her Double Slap ability, for those of you also that don't know... Get with it, boys, because it does crit. Your auto attacks crit, your double slap ability crit with scope lens. This actually does a lot of damage, especially in the early game. Back when I crit, I think it was like 806 damage on the uh, Gibble in the bot lane in the beginning. I right, level 5, like, hello? No one finds that as a problem. I don't think people realize it actually can, can crit, you know? Just like Machamp. Machamp's cross shop crits. There's a lot of Pokemon's abilities that do crit that people don't realize. This is why we have this thing called build testing. It's a lot of fun once you figure it out, once you pick it up, or you find something that works. Whereas with Wigglytuff here, I think she has one of the, the weakest Unite moves in the game, but at the same time, it's very beneficial for your whole entire squad. It's a very supportive uh, supportive Unite move. I try to get around that wall, and it just would not let me walk around it. What it does is it removes all hindrances for a short time. So it gives you like a hindrance buff that you can't be hindranced or what have you, right? Gives you a shield. You're on fire! Which is pretty good, right? That's pretty much all it does. That's it. Now this right here, I wish I was able to beat it, but I, I could not take them both out. I think perhaps if Venusaur wasn't there, I had a talent flip. Like, I think I did, you know? Now, on top of Wigglytuff, she gets an immense amount of movement speed when she activates Sync. So she's super oppressive. She's great for dis engages and disengages her. So for those of you who were talking about, should I get Wigglytuff, should I not get Wigglytuff, pick her up, guys. Because she's a support, she's a DPS, she's a tank, she's a jack-of-all-trades, master of all, essentially. That's just the way she's got to be. Just keep in mind, she's not a... She's not a carry, so she's not that Greninja, she's not that Zara Aura. She does rely on a team, just like... If you have a decent team composition or a decent team, maybe like three players on your squad are paying attention and following up, you can win the game with her, no problem. She's very, stretch. very good for solo queue, trust me. You're on fire. Because again, you're playing that support Pokemon, which your mindset should be this. Group up. That's your mindset as support, essentially, is group up. You can't necessarily 1v5, right? You can't 1v5 as Blissey, per se. But you can when you jump into, you know, you follow your team around, you go to your objectives, y'all can win no problem, right? Wigglytuff is the same exact way, except for she brings a different type of element to the table. Whereas when you activate Sing and you're running into a team fight, people run away from you. People who don't want to fight you, they don't want anything to do with you. And remember, you're a support. They're scared of you just because of the amount of pressure and crowd control you bring to them. And sometimes that's enough for you to zone off a target from Rotom from uh, Dreadnought. I'll, it's never going to work for Zapdos because I think everyone is in that mindset right now where Zapdos is the win-all, be-all type thing. And it is. You play the game until you get Zapdos. Now keep in mind, this fight right here would have gone completely different if Venusaur was playing Petal Dance and Giga Drain. He would have beat me. No problem. Now, like I said, it's going to get nerfed. We're going to see what's going to happen. I, I bet we don't see a lot of Venusaurs anymore. But in any case, man, hopefully you guys do enjoy. Hop into Discord, say hello, tell me I suck, do whatever. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This has been Paul's Place. Stay tuned for a whole bunch of Gengar updates, for a whole bunch of new map content, new Halloween update. It's going to be fun, guys. Hey, man, this has been Paul's Place. Catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Enjoy the rest of your day.